All right, in this one, we're gonna look at how to input the data and list it out using one view. All right, so with our to-do app, the window that will do the entry is the same window that's gonna do the listing of the task that we have. All right, so this is gonna be the third video for this series. So I'm gonna scroll down and then start copying and pasting so that you can follow along. So the first thing is to create the forms that we're gonna use to do the entry, all right? So I'm gonna copy this code. And then in Sublime, I'm gonna create the forms.py. So by default, Django doesn't have this form created, all right, or this file created. So we have to create this and then paste the code in there. So I'm gonna right click the to-do folder and then click new file I'm gonna paste the content in it and then save it as forms.py okay so this is what we have as a form so you're gonna have two fields the first field will be the title and then we're gonna have the due date all right so I'm gonna save this and then move to the next step so in this step, we're gonna create the view, right? So this view, like I said at the beginning, we're gonna use this view to list out the data and also input the data. So we're gonna have the forms that will do the entry of the data and the query set will list out that data and then render it on the browser. So I'm gonna copy this and then paste it in views.py. Okay, so I'm gonna move this to import to the top. All right, so since we're using uh, redirect here, I'm gonna import redirect as well. What this list is doing is, it's gonna render out the data and we're gonna use that right here, okay? And we're gonna use the form to input the data. So once the form is validated, it's gonna save the entry or whatever we put in the form and then redirect us back to the home page. And we're gonna use this as our home page. So we're gonna create the list underscore task dot html template. That's gonna be the next step. All right, so that's the content of the template. I'm going to create a new folder within the app so in the to do app i'm going to right click and then click new folder and i'm going to name this folder templates so within this template i'm going to create the the false template i'm going to click new file and paste the content right in there so i'm going to save it as list underscore items dot html So let's confirm that that's what we have list task okay so i'm gonna rename that to list task without the s so i have to rename it again All right, so the next step is to create a URL. So I'm gonna save this and then copy the URL code. Right in URLs.py. So this is located in the Django project folder, all right? So I'm gonna open the URLs and then paste the code right here. So the import will be moved all the way up. We're gonna import the, the view, right? From the app to do, and then we're gonna use that view right here, okay? So we're gonna reference this task or the list task view. That is what we just created here, all right? So I'm gonna save this. 
and this will be the home page all right so when i go to the home page of this application so we're gonna list out the data all right so that's what this already created here so i'm gonna go to the app and then open the home page by typing localhost column 8000 so here is the app all right and we have the form rendered on the browser so let's try to input data in it so i'm going to add test task and then i'm going to choose the date i think the year comes first then the month and the day so i'm going to click submit all right so that's working so we're able to input the data save it in the database and then render it in the browser all right, so I'm going to do another one, test 2, I'm going to type the year, the month, or the day, I'm not sure exactly which one, but let's see, uh, I'm going to comment this, so that we uh, saw exactly which one comes first, so I'm going to use uh, a wrong date, and then it's going to give us the error, all right, so we are not redirecting, and it's not giving us the error. Oh, I need to I need to save it first. I'm gonna click back and then click save again. All right, so value has an invalid format. Okay, so this has an invalid format. It must be in year, month, day, hour, minute, seconds. All right, so the second one here is the month. I'm gonna type the month properly. And then save it all right so that's working right there so we know that the fourth one is the year then we have the month and then the day so I'm gonna uncomment this and then yeah so that's our app so we are able to use one view to do the entry and also to list it out on the browser all right so a quick recap I switch over to the sublime or the text editor you have the views, you have the URLs, the forms, and then the list template. All right. So once the users come to the home page, that will run the list task view. Okay. And that is the one that we created here. So once this is running, it's going to create a query set, a variable called query set. And that's going to go into the task.objects.com. Order by we're gonna talk about that when we start doing the ordering of the task okay so it's gonna go into this database or this table and then pick all the data in it and assign it to this variable so once that is done it's gonna render the form it's gonna create a form and the form is what we created in the forms.py all right and then it's gonna check if the form is posted or if the submit button is clicked it's gonna try to save the data that was inputted in the form and then this context is what renders the data on the browser including the form okay so when I open the list task HTML so this is what is rendering the data on the browser so it's gonna render whatever we have in the forms for the views okay and also the query set right for task in task if you look into the view right here we have this as task okay with the s right so it's gonna have a variable called task in task it's gonna create a for loop so for every single object in this variable it's gonna create a row for that object okay so it's gonna list it out and then go pick another one and list it out until it finishes all the entries in the database so that will create the listing on the template right here all right and then it will end the for loop so this is how all these pieces fit together so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do don't forget to click on the like button if you're not a subscriber and you enjoy videos like this you might consider subscribing so that you will not miss our future videos so if you have any corrections, you can put them in the comments below. Otherwise, see you in the next video.